Have you ever wanted to get into photogrammetry but got discouraged because of the cost of barrier to entry due to software, the drones, and maybe some of the accessories that you think you may need? Well, luckily in today's video, we're gonna go over a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get into drone photogrammetry for free with as little as a DJI Mini 2. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So just a little disclaimer, before we get into this video, just wanna explain that this is more so educational type of video. I really wouldn't recommend trying to go out and sell photogrammetry services with a DJI DJI Mini 2 in this free piece of software. Yes, you can do a lot with it for free, but when it comes to real world survey mapping, that needs to be geo-rectified and cross-referenced with ground control points to use for real world measurements this is not going to come anywhere close to it. So again, this is just more of an educational video to teach you about the fundamentals of photogrammetry and allow you to play for it for free without having to pay hundreds of dollars to get into it. So now that I got that out of the way, let's get into what you need in order to do photogrammetry with the DJI Mini 2. First of all, let's talk about the drone. Obviously, I mentioned the DJI Mini 2, but there's several other drones that work with the software that I'm going to mention here very shortly. So again, just kind of look at the list. I have a link in the description for you to check out what drones are supported. Surprisingly enough, almost every single drone in the market is supported with this free piece of software. Unfortunately, at the time of filming this video, the DJI Mini 3 was just announced, but who's to say when the SDK will come out? The reason why an SDK is important for a drone is, well, that allows other software to interface with the drone to allow it to do automated flight missions such as what we're going to be doing with photogrammetry. So the DJI Mini 3, Mavic 3, and the DJI M30 are not currently supported just yet. Again, SDK is not available, so who knows when they will become available. But what's really good is that 95% of the drones that are available in the market today will work with this pretty piece of software. But for this video, I'm going to be using the DJI Mini 2. If you are interested in getting it, make sure to check the link in the description to get access to the Amazon affiliate link that I have down there. You can get the drone for as little as $450. I would really recommend getting the $600 Fly More bundle. It gives you two more batteries, which will allow you to fly for about an hour and a half, which is perfect for experimenting with photogrammetry, as opposed to spending thousands of dollars with an Inspire 2 or a Phantom 4 Pro, such as what myself and my team uses every single day. Now, for this free piece of software that I've just been mentioning, you're gonna be using Map Pilot Pro from Maps Made Easy. The guys over at Maps Made Easy were one of the original companies that helped bring the drone world into the photogrammetry world. They've been around for quite a while and we're gonna be using their free iOS application. Unfortunately, I don't think that there is an Android variant available yet of their software. I think iOS is the only one that they have. And then one additional item that you're going to need to do is to go ahead and make a free account on Maps Made Easy. What's really cool about the free account is, well, you will get seven day free access to their paid version of what they do offer. Now, don't be alarmed that just because you're getting a seven day free trial doesn't mean you won't be able to use the software in the future for free because you're in luck. They have a free tier of their software that you can process orthomosaics on without having to pay anything at all. And again, their flight software on the iOS device is free for life, so you're never gonna have to pay for that in order to run missions on your device with the drone that you have. So with all of that being said, there's really only three things that you need to do. Make sure you have a supported drone, make sure you have an iOS device to run MapPilot Pro, and third and foremost, make sure you just make a free account with Maps Made Easy, and that's all you need to do. So. I will go ahead and meet you guys out in the field and show you how easy it is to set up a free mission. And then after that, we're gonna go jump back onto the computer and show how easy it is to get it processed. So I'll see you guys out in the field. So now that we're at our site and you found a site that isn't in controlled airspace because you know you don't need a part 107 to fly this drone as it falls under the 250 gram limit to get a part 107 to fly with. We're gonna go and find a flat area that doesn't have any obstructions such as trees above it or whatever and make sure that the area that we're capturing is pretty central to where the drone's gonna be starting and finishing its mission from. Once you've found that site, let's go ahead and get the drone on put in its area and let it connect to some satellites. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and jump onto the Map Pilot Pro app, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a mission plan in order to capture the ortho mosaic for photogrammetry. All right, so I've got the drone set up. It's ready to fly. I've got my phone connected to the controller. We're gonna go ahead and jump into Map Pilot Pro app here. So now that we're in the app, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, first we're gonna go to the settings, make sure that you're logged in 
to your Maps Made Easy account that you made a little bit earlier. And then since I'm already connected to the drone with the controller, you can see that the model flight camera is the Mini 2 here. And you can see some of the other drones that it supports as well. We're gonna make sure that it's in JPEG images here. Make sure that this is at two seconds in image. I like to turn I like to turn metric off so that I can control the actual height in feet rather than metrics. Return to home offset I like to put at zero meters, zero feet so that it can't just land randomly, it'll actually land back in the spot. And that's about it. That's all you need to do for the settings. Now let's go ahead and create a new mission. So you can see it shows where I am exactly on the map, right here at the end of this parking lot, right next to this dumpster next to me. It's gonna tell me that it found my DJI Mini 2. You can see the aircraft there as well. We're just gonna look here at the settings. I'm just clicking the top uh, bar here so I can see all those settings already. Cool. Uh, I can see that my phone's at 24%. I've got 23 satellites and my controller has a good connection. 89% battery life. Perfect. And if I just wanna look at the camera, there's a little camera icon on the side. I'm just gonna drag it out and I'm gonna click on it. And there we go. Now we can see what the camera sees. Cool, so I'm just gonna swipe that away. And I wanna map out this field right behind me. So I'm gonna click and hold on the screen, create my first waypoint, click and hold, create my second, and then we need three points in order to create a map. So we'll grab and, and get the third one. And then initially I'm gonna get this one right here and I'm just gonna drag it over so that we cover the field. And I'm just going to drag this out a little bit more so that I can cover the entire field here. Cool, I'm just gonna drag the top of the screen down again. And we just wanna have a normal mission. We want our overlap to be about, let's see, I want it to be 60% for the track. Just using the plus and minus buttons here. And then same thing, I want 60%. Actually, we'll do 65%. We're gonna keep our speed at about 14 miles an hour. And then I want my altitude to be, and you can see it changing here. I want it to be 85 feet. Uh, so I can have a good GSD of the field behind me. And that is all I need to do. So we're good with that, we'll just click on it again. We'll hide it. And then I'm gonna click this little drone icon here so I can see the drone. We'll click our little aircraft icon, we'll hit upload. And I'm just gonna hit no, I don't want terrain awareness. And we're going to override that. We're gonna hit okay. And now we can see where the drone's gonna fly to. You can see where the blue lines, the green dot, in the bottom right here, that's where the drone's going to start, and the red dot is where the drone's going to stop. So I'm just gonna get the camera out here, and we're going to go ahead and click start. And there goes the drone, it's gonna take a second, and then it's gonna go. And it's pretty much like that, that's it's really all you have to do. What's awesome about this app is it's free. Uh, like I said a little bit earlier, it's a free app. You don't have to pay for it and you can go ahead and set up your flight plans and, and do everything that you need from it. So now the drone's going to take a few minutes to capture this. Now that it's at its first waypoint here, it's gonna go ahead and start mapping. So we'll just wait for this to finish up and I will check back in once it's done. All right, so now that the drone is completed, it is back landed, we're gonna go ahead and get back in front of the computer, take all the images that your drone captured, which only took a few minutes to do, throw it into Maps Made Easy, and show how easy it is to build an ortho mosaic from the flight plan that you just flew. So let's go do that. All right, so now that we're back in front of the computer, I've already got the SD card off of the DJI Mini 2. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the computer here. And now we're gonna jump straight into Maps Made Easy website, and I'm gonna show you the exact process on how to get these photos uploaded and processed, and then what we can do with a processed map. So basically what you're gonna do is, once you're signed in here, you can see, hello Dylan, I am signed in. We're gonna click on Maps, create a new map here. And because we used a DJI Mini 2, we're gonna use the DJI specific workflow so we'll click use DJI workflow. And then just so that it verifies that it is using a DJI drone. And so it understands what drone was used alongside with the camera. We're just gonna select one of the photos here. And I'll just select the first one. And because I have a free job, what I'll do is I'll just do ASAP. It's not gonna cost me anything since, again, I have a free account. But basically what you'll be able to do with a free account is you just use normal and it won't cost you anything at all. 
So I'm just gonna use ASAP just for the sake of this video. We want to have native resolution here. Now that we are happy with all of this, we'll do name of map and we'll just call this 2D V2 because I've already done the test and we'll click that and I approve. And then we're going to select almost all of the photos except these three because these three were the first photos that it took off when you initialized the drone. Uh, that's when I hit the upload and start. That's why the drone kind of sat for a second and then eventually took off. So we're just gonna select all of these photos here. Uh, it says 49 photos, so minus three, 46 photos is what it really took. We're just gonna go ahead and hit open. And then we're gonna hit upload. Then all of these photos are going to get uploaded to Maps Made Easy. And this should only take about 15 to 20 minutes to get processed. Depends on the workload of what Maps Made Easy is processing right now and what's in the queue. So what we're going to do once this is fully uploaded is we'll go ahead and jump back on here and take a look at what a fully processed map looks like alongside with what you can do with it. All right, so once your map is finally processed, you're going to get an email from Maps Made Easy. Additionally, all you need to do is if you're back on the home page, you'll just hover over maps here, click on it, and you're gonna click completed. And then we can see here, this is not V2, this is the first one that I did. It's the same lot of plot of land that was scanned. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on it. And now we can see what it looks like on Google Maps in the background alongside with what our imagery looks like. And you can already kind of tell the difference between what the ortho from the DJI Mini 2 is compared to what the Google satellite imagery looks like. And again, there's a reason why I mentioned beginning of this video that this is more so for reference. This isn't really real surveying work because you can see that this trailer right here is actually, it's, it's about five feet off of the actual position of where it's supposed to be. So just do keep that in mind that this is more so just for reference and not for real survey work. But again, this is all just for demonstration and educational purposes anyway, so you can learn about it. But as we can see, all 46, or in this case, 48 of these photos are all stitched together. And some of the stuff that we can do is, well, let's just do a quick little measurement. Let's see how wide this field is. It's about 278 feet, cool. All right, let's do, let's do something else. Let's take a look at the elevation model. And as we can see, all of this is ASL, somewhere around this range here of what the altitude is. And you can see the tops of these trees um, are about so a little bit higher than the rest of the property, but that makes sense because those trees are higher than the ground. So it's pretty limited in terms of what you can do with Maps Made Easy, but for your overall just plain ortho mosaic, it does a really good job. And if you guys wanna check out this ortho mosaic that I took, um, I will make sure to have a link in the description for you to check out so you can see it for yourselves. And once again, just to reiterate, this is not accurate at all. Not even anywhere close to survey accurate. Just keep that in mind. But for overall just reference of being able to do photogrammetry with a Mavic Mini 2, which is also not supported on Drone Deploy, we have to use Matte Pilot Pro, which is a free application once again. So please be sure to check it out, download it, and just have fun with it. There's so many options and so many different things that you can learn about photogrammetry. And that is one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. I've had over 150 comments, probably more so since I've been making this video, of people asking me how to do photogrammetry with the Mavic Mini 2. As most people entering the drone industry don't have $2,500 to spend on a full setup for a Phantom 4 Pro or a Mavic 2 Pro and get all the batteries and get all the different things. If this is an industry that you're interested in and you don't necessarily have the funds to go out and spend a bunch of money, but you still want to learn about it, I highly recommend just testing it out. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything outside of the drone that you've already bought. And all of that to say is that I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you kind of learned something today. If you did, please be sure to give a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to drop a comment down below. I am going to try my best to answer everything that comes my way. And if you want to see more from me in the future, alongside with my photogrammetry master course that I'm working on, be sure to look out for that. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,